Here's here, David, you want to raise your hand so people can see you? So Amy uh, first got into politics actually when our daughter was very sick. Uh, Abigail was in the, uh, uh, after she was born, uh, Amy was kicked out of the hospital after uh, 24 hours. This was in the days of drive-by deliveries. And Amy told me after that happened that uh, as I was taking her out of the hospital, she said this would not be happening to the wife of the insurance company executive. And she was exactly right about that. She said that in somewhat more strident terms at the time. Uh, but uh, since that time, she's actually gotten over 100 bills passed in, uh, in the U.S. Senate. Uh, and she wants to be the president for all of America, not half of America, bringing people together. Amy's been working really hard, and most of all, people want to know, can Amy beat Donald Trump? And yes, she can, and she will. So if you look at her track record, actually, the, the first time Amy ran for office, actually, uh, she ran for an office called Kennebec County Attorney. That was in 1998, uh, and that was the same year that Jesse Ventura won the governorship of Minnesota. Uh, so Amy understands something about independent voters. The next time she ran in, in 2006 was for the U.S. Senate. After she had been county attorney the first year, she was actually re-elected unopposed in that election because they couldn't find anybody to run against her. So when she ran in, in 2006, she beat her opponent by more than 20 points. In 2000, the next time she ran, she won by more than 35 points. And this last time, she won more than 42, she won 42 of the counties that Donald Trump had won. So in effect, she's already shown she can bring people with her uh, and take back the U.S. Senate as well, which we need to do. Uh, because nothing's going to change unless we also take back the U.S. Senate. Yes. Um, and Amy always believes in not just winning, but winning big, because that's how you actually make real change. Uh, you can take on then the issue of climate change. Uh, get back into the International Climate Change Agreement. You can do something about health care. Uh, you have this nonprofit uh, public option that you can expand health care and make it more affordable. Amy's been leading the bills to bring down the cost of pharmaceuticals uh, ever since she got to the Senate, allowing, allowing seniors to negotiate for their prescription drugs, right? Um, ending the practice was called pay for delay, where the, the pharmaceutical companies are paying uh, uh, generic companies to keep their products off the market and allowing also uh, drugs to be reimported from Canada. These are all things that Amy can accomplish as president. So Super, Super Tuesday is right around the corner. There's 14 states, there's a lot of ground to cover in this election and Amy's going to be getting every, as many places as she can. I was actually down in Richmond to speak at the Democratic dinner there just a, a, a few days ago. Uh, there's a lot of excitement around Amy's campaign. So we look forward to uh, doing really well in Virginia uh, and to winning big in this election. So let's go out there and let's win big in November. All right? Thank you, everybody.